Hi everyone on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and football fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts on the conference championship games and my picks for Super Bowl 58. Check it out. Well, my thoughts for the uh, conference championship games, let's start off with Baltimore and Kansas City. Well, for that game, I would not blame so much at all at Lamar Jackson, but there's a couple of plays here and there, yes, but... Most likely, no. But the one that's really stepped up to the plate for both teams was the defense. It was a defensive game at that game. Just Lamar Jackson and the Ravens offense just could not get it done. I know there was one play that they, uh, Lamar Jackson tried to throw it in the ball in the end zone. I believe that was picked off for a turnover for a fumble, I think it was. But I was like, he could have just ran it in for the end zone or stuff like that. But I would not blame mostly on Lamar Jackson. But, on the flip side of the coin, though, it would blame some of it on the offense as well, like offensive coaching. Like John Harbaugh, I think he made the wrong plays, I think all that. But, I'm not saying John Harbaugh's a bad coach. I mean, and by the way, congratulations to his brother, Jim Harbaugh, who um who got the head coaching job in, in the LA Chargers. So he's going to be the new Chargers head coach. Let's see how he does. Personally, I think he may may do, uh, eh, he's been in the college rankings for so long that I think he forgot how the pros work. So, we'll see how that one turns out. But, you know, back to the Ravens. In my knowledge on that one, I just think that just, um, it was a defensive game and I think the Ravens, uh, Lamar Jackson, the Ravens offense just could not get the job done when against the Against the Kansas City Chiefs defense. And that was just the Ravens defense at that game. If I had to pick a conference championship MVP or on both sides, on both games, for the AFC side, it would have been the Ravens defense. The Ravens defense stepped up than, than anything else did. Patrick Mahomes, don't get me wrong. Travis Kelsey, don't get me wrong. Played solid really good. But it was, but it was all the Ravens defense that won that game for them. So, and that's why the, the right, the Kansas City Chiefs right now are representing the uh, AFC in the Super Bowl. It's because of that defense. All right, for Detroit and San Francisco, that game, it was it was probably the defining moment for Kyle Shanahan, I would say, because he finally have a comeback after two chokes in the Super Bowl. One as the Ravens off, I mean the Falcons offensive coordinator for Super Bowl Fifty One, and of course. I believe it was Super Bowl... Oh, I'm trying to think right now. Trying to think. Hold on, let me think about it for a minute. I think it was Super Bowl 54 that he choked against Kansas City. So, I'd probably say my defining moment of that was probably for um for Kyle Shanahan. Don't get me wrong with Brock Purdy and, and George Kittle and the Ray, uh, San Francisco's offense. They did what they needed to do to win the game. But on the flip side for Detroit... Eminem should not have done what he did to flipping the bird to the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, I get it. They were right, the Lions were winning and they were winning the game, but you should have waited until after the game was over. But it is what it is with that. But to my knowledge, at least to say the least, the I'm the, for the Lions. They should be happy with what they did. They made it far that they did, so I'm really happy for them. But to say the least about, um, to, for, for, well, to say the least, um, um, for at least for the Lions right now, I, I think personally they will be back next year. I really do. I really think they're gonna go back until their, um, their week scenario in the playoffs next year. That's for sure. But, but, Hold on just a minute. Just a minute. Oh yeah, here we go. But anyways, I still think for the for the Lions right now, I think they're going to be back in the playoffs next year. And I think next year they're going to probably finally go back to the playoffs in the AFC Championship. I mean, NFC Championship came in. This time probably win it. And like we saw with the Steelers in the 90s, I think it was um, 94, they lost the championship game. And they came back and won it next year. And so I think that's another possibility. 
And I also think for um for the Lions right now, I think. But I hold on. The 2013 uh, Patriots did that, and they lost the championship game, and they won it, and they wa actually won that Super Bowl the next year. So it's possible that they could do that next year. I think t personally, talently, they're gonna get much better on defense next year. So don't don't be surprised next year that the Lions' defense is gonna be a much better ball uh, a ball team than they were last this past season. This this season, I would say. So if I gotta say right now that the I would, but I think it was um. For the when the Lions said they this could be their only shot, I don't think so. I think they will be back next year. And I think ne next year they could make it. So, am I a guy who's gonna say they're a one and done team? I can't see it with the Detroit Lions. So honestly, I would I would not be surprised next year if Detroit is gonna go back to the championship game, and this time they probably win it next year. So, but in the meantime, congratulations to the San Francisco 49ers. They're in, they're back in the Super Bowl, and as for Kyle Sh Kyle Shanahan, I would say that was his um his redemption for um for for collapsing in comebacks. This is his defining moment, I would say, right now. So if I had to pick an MVP for a um for the NFC Championship game, Kyle Shanahan. So he finally got the demons off of a comeback from the two Super Bowls, like I mentioned, and he finally got it, his redemption and finally going back to the um, Super Bowl. So anyways, that's my thought for the um, for the uh, conference championship games. Let's get on to my Super Bowl predictions. All right now. So um, Super Bowl 58, here we are. Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Now for how both teams got into the Super Bowl. Kansas City, it was mostly on the Kansas City defense. San Francisco, offense. So now... Don't get me wrong on San Francisco's offense. They've been really good too all year. But my problem with, with San Francisco, their defense almost blew the game for them. From the division game and for the conference championship games, respectfully. So, on Kansas City side, they've been playing fairly solidly on both sides of the ball. Patrick Mahomes is doing his thing. Kansas City Chiefs defense is doing this thing. And I would go even further for Kansas City. Their defense reminds me of the Patriots' early years of the dynasty in their first three Super Bowls. It was run by the Patriots' defense. So, so it kind of reminds me of that at that point in there, that point in area. And on the flip side, Andy Reid, this could be his last game as a head coach, so I would keep an eye on that one too. But I think for this game, I think I, this is a game that's going to be a bit of, you're going to see a little bit of both offense and defense on this game. So I expect to be in the high 20s or maybe low 30s. So I think it's going to be somewhere around there. So I think this for this game, I think it's going to be uh, like you're going to see a couple of touchdown passes from Brock Purdy and Patrick Mahomes. I, you're going to see something like that. You might see some running game on both sides with Christian McCaffrey. You're going to see something like that. You're going to go on all ends. You, you, there's some good players on both sides of the ball too. There's nothing wrong with both teams on that one. But I think I'm going to, I have to go with the team who has the best defense. And, and I think both of them, it's a coin flip on that one. And I'm, and I'm surprised it's not a pick them. So, as I mentioned, um, Andy Reid, this could be his last game. He could be retiring this year, this coming season. We don't know. But on the same time, we, we will see what happens. What we will do that. But, but this is a rematch of Super Bowl 54, I believe it was. So I think it was Super Bowl 54 they met. And then when Kansas City's first Super Bowl in 50 years. So and now Kansas City and San Francisco, they meet again. And I believe this is the Kansas City's um, fifth Super Bowl appearance, I think. If I remember right, I think it was Super Bowl 54. I think it was 56 against... No, Super Bowl 50... Um, Five against uh, Tampa Bay and they lost, and I think Super Bowl Fifty Seven they won last year against the um, Philadelphia Eagles. So this you are making their like four out of five years in the Super Bowl, so that's a good accomplishment for them. And like I mentioned early in the year, I said they couldn't go back to back. Um, the first team to go back to back um, Super Bowl since the Patriots in two thousand three and two thousand four. So I did say that, 
As for San Francisco, they're riding, riding along on the offensive side of the ball, scoring a lot of points on there, and but the defense is keeping them in fair shape too. So, what, what am I going to go for? I think Kansas City's defense is a much better defense than San Francisco's, just by a hair. A hair. But, anyways, I think for this game, I think this is going to go, like I mentioned, it's going to go with a high, high 20s, Early, low 30s, so I think it's gonna you see something like that. So you for the over 90s, you're probably gonna know what I'm gonna go with this on this. So, anyways, you're gonna be, and I'm just so right now, I'm totally surprised it's not a pick 'em. I was really, I was expecting to be a pick 'em game, but it's not. So, anyways, that being said, it's I'm gonna you could say I'm going with a little bit of an upset in this one, so. It's a little bit. Not like it's not like a big, big upset or anything you've seen like that. But I like to take I'm gonna take the Kansas City Chiefs over the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 58. And they're gonna be your first back to back Super Bowl champions since the 2003 Patriots and the 2004 Patriots, respectfully. So I'm still sticking my guns on that one. Despite how Kansas City played all year on offense, despite how uh, on that, but it's the Kansas City's defense. It's been helping them win these games, and that's why they're in that or in now. And for San Francisco's defense, for San Francisco, they haven't played a defense like Kansas City all year, and that's why I'm picking Kansas City over San Francisco to win this game. And they're gonna beat San Francisco again in the Super Bowl. So, and Kansas City Chiefs representing the home team on this one. So, just remind everyone that. So, anyways, as the res as a designated home team, I'm gonna take the Kansas City Chiefs over the San Francisco 49ers to win this game. As the de as the 49ers are the designated road team in this game. So on the line, San Francisco is favored by two in this game. So, which I'm a little like I mentioned, so I'm surprised it's not a pick'em. I was expecting to be a pick'em game, which it's not. So I'm gonna take Kansas City plus two in this game. The over and under it's 47 in, in this game. I'm going over 47 in this game. With the final score, the Kansas City Chiefs, 31. The San Francisco 49ers, 28 at a last-second field goal. And I'm going to make a prediction right now. I expect to have another comeback for um, Kansas City in this game. No one Kyle Shanahan. He may have got the demons on the NFC Championship game, but not the Super Bowl. So we could see a comeback in this game. So, like I mentioned, Kansas City straight up, Kansas City plus two, the over 47 with the final score, Kansas City Chiefs 31, San Francisco 49ers 28. Okay, a big shout out this week, and, and for good reasons too, if you like movies, you gotta check him out too. It is Justin Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube. Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. The reason being for that, because he does movie awards. And if you like movies too, like us, you're going to like his channel. You're going to check out his movie awards. See what he likes. See what he dislikes. And he has other contacts for movie awards like video games and music too. So definitely check him out. And the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below. Definitely check out the Justin and Tyler's movie awards. They, he just wrapped it up. You can check the rest of it. And like, They've been doing that the last week or so, in the past two weeks. So if you haven't catch on to that, I suggest you do so. And until then, you can check out the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below. And I will be back for the Super Bowl 58, the Super Bowl 58 post game show. So until then, this is Andrew Warren signing off, saying good luck to your Super Bowl 58 picks and rock out.